Ahmad Wadak joins me now. He's a political science professor at the University of Hartford. Good to see you, sir. Um, you know, we've been talking about Thank Afghanistan you. now for, for a couple of weeks, partly because of the anniversary, but also partly because after the U.S. withdrawal, it's been, it's mm -hmm. been very difficult for the people of Afghanistan. What are you hearing on the ground there in terms of the economic situation? Uh, thanks for having me, Phil. The economic situation is uh, getting worse day by day. The economic sanctions uh, directly on the people of Afghanistan, uh, not only actually on the Taliban's administration, but it actually affects the very poor people of Afghanistan. As you know, the uh, uh, no matter like authoritarian regimes or, or any type of non-democratic regimes can always uh, have, uh, they find their ways to survive. But uh, it's always the ordinary people who suffer. And in the case of Afghanistan, it's the same. Right. I, I know that there are sanctions. I know there is $7 billion held up in terms of the, the foreign reserves for the central bank. Who are Afghanistan's, I guess, current biggest trading partners right now? Well, uh, the Afghanistan's biggest trading partner would be Pakistan, uh, uh, no doubt about it. You just uh, spoke about the uh, Ms. Ainak, uh, but uh, there are uh, uh, other mining industries, for example, the coal industry that uh, uh, is uh, exported to Pakistan. And uh, uh, lapis, for example, and other uh, 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 minerals and, and, and uh, precious stones that are uh, exported to Pakistan. That's actually one of the ways Pakistan uh, make Pakistan one of the largest uh, trading partner of the Taliban's uh, administration. Right. And you heard in Sean's package earlier, the Chinese have an interest now in, in mining copper. Um, although there is a, I guess, historic um, situation that needs to be resolved there, how or should they resolve that so that the Chinese can start mining? Well, first of all, uh, the, I, it's a good news that the Taliban are actually now changing their views on uh, uh, the Buddhist preserving history. And now uh, for China, as a, as a regional uh, the power uh, or even as a global power, emerging global power, I think uh, it uh, uh, makes China much more responsible to preserve the history and uh, uh, continue its work in a way that uh, the historical sites are not being damaged. Uh, but overall, I think uh, uh, it's an important project. The uh, extraction of Afghanistan's mining uh, uh, minerals uh, uh, will be uh, beneficial for the prosperous uh, of the region. Let, let me ask you this. What, I'll make this more clear. What should the economic relationship be between Afghanistan vis-a-vis -vis the Taliban and China? Well, first of all, the Taliban are acting as a group. Uh, they are not acting as a legitimate government. So uh, I think uh, uh, the, the, uh, they, they are in need of cash. And all these uh, projects, uh, this will be a source of revenue for the Taliban. So uh, China here has a leverage to actually be the champion of human rights in Afghanistan and use its uh, leverage on the Taliban to, uh, for example, open up girls' schools. That's not something that should be debatable. And uh, some other uh, broad-based government, for example. Otherwise, the instability in Afghanistan will uh, make uh, this a very risky jurisdiction for China. Because, right. uh, but look, some would argue that while you may or may not agree with the government there, that if you want to relieve the suffering that's on the ground, at least some or most of the money that would come from the mining of copper might trickle down. I mean, wouldn't that be the other argument of having China push forward this project? And it's not just this project. I'm sure there are other projects uh, as well in that relationship. 
Well, uh, it will, but uh, it depends on the type of government. For example, if we look at uh, uh, the, it can turn into the Cambodia or Nigeria. Right. Uh, it can as well, for example, uh, turn the country into chaos. Look at the coal industry, for example. Just a few weeks ago, uh, there were uh, uh, several battles in the northern Badafshan in Saripol. Right. Uh, All right. Ahmad, uh, the I, I, local communities uh, uh, fought with the Taliban. Ahmad, I, we, uh, we, we take your point. I apologize. We are, um, we are out of time. Um, but I do want to thank you for your insights on this very important topic. Thank you very much, and have a good weekend.